Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saika and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are beating the game with only two soldiers and two soldiers only per mission. Welcome back guys. It is time for Operation Foolish Future, an extraction of a dark VIP from South America. Uh, it is one of the missions where I feel a little bit uh, energized and we're going to go in with the power pack. The dynamic duo Zirkem and Renvin stand at loadout. Uh, Renvin going to be the anti psi um, person, like uh, close up front. Zirkem is going to take care about the mechanical uh, beings. We got a shred storm cannon on top of it. What could possibly go wrong? It's gonna be great. I love it already. The two of them are such an explosive duo and whenever I see them interacting I, I really like the dynamic. I was a bit afraid that uh, specifically the Grenadier might fall off a little bit in the end game so that the pay, uh, that this duo wouldn't be as useful. But it turned out, uh, turns out it is actually quite useful. It's way more in your face and, and uh, in the front line uh, than I would have expected. And uh, one of the things uh, that I also probably underestimated is just the amount of um, away time from our main duo, like uh, Roby and Hogbite, are almost seeing no action whatsoever. Of course, from time to time they see action, but uh, mostly they are on covered ops training missions to just uh, get yet more dodging. And that's good, that's great and all, um, specifically since Hogbite has almost 100 dodge, uh, dodge now. But it also means uh, that the others need to carry a little bit more. And those two here specifically um, have taken quite a few missions. So I appreciate that they stepped up. Much appreciated. All right. Five target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Good. So much for the dark VIP. It's an actual VIP mission. And we need to pretty straight up move to here. Shouldn't underestimate it. It's it's, it's a long uh, walk, and we already see that there is one pack lurking for us. We know it's a really full. Uh, mm, it's a really full field, uh, 13 enemies, it's also difficult. Tore tells me that um, we're going to run into a Chosen. It's a given. What's over there? Well, or in this case, it seems to be a given uh, that we are triggering the first peg right away. Let's do some run and gun. I am concerned not to go too far. But then, on the other hand, if you say so. can't just wait. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Did we pull both of them? Please. Only the one pick. Okay, perfect. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Good. Let's start with the Archon here. And since we're already knee deep in trouble. Yeah, the shotgun falls off quite a bit. Since we're already knee-deep in trouble, might as well use our throwing axe here. Nice little starter for damage. Yeah, that's the main problem, the dodge uh, chance. Okay, that gives us untouchable and placeable. Uh, by the way, uh, no, we're we're moving the VIP last. Good. 
theoretically could move over here would be a very exposed position we got death from above just out of curiosity I would still suggest to somewhat keep uh, the group together. That's why I'm taking a semi-cautious um, position here. So this will, should give us line of sight. As so often, I shouldn't speak too soon. Alright, let's go and try to at least hurt this guy. Didn't work. We do have a nice little untouchable up in front here. I will stay all the way up there. Hunker down. We're going to stay here, which means we're going to take a single shot because they have technical analysis. Uh, the Andromeda only takes a single shot into untouchable. He will just move because we're out of range. The Viper cannot get up, so it's probably just going to weasel its way over here. It doesn't have enough reach for the tongue grab, so we should be fine. And look at that. I knew they would be coming. Right on schedule. Okay, so he's already leveled up quite a bit. Chance to return fire on each missed shot. Immunity to melee weapons, that's bad. Can summon Advent Priests, that's also bad. Attacks will decrease the will of a soldier, that is also bad. And regeneration, that's also bad. As a matter of fact, all of that is really bad. Takes increased damage from explosives, which we have exactly one left over. And from skirmishers, which we haven't even leveled. I appreciate Chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of the That was the operation. untouchable that I talked about. That was close. That's the movement. That is the snake moving in. This year would pull another pack. This year would pull another pack. I think we still need the grenade, the other one, so. Moving here. Knowing that we would pull the other pack, we need uh, kills though, and he, um, the sector is uh, pr a pretty good target to be honest.
This here is an option, not a bad one to be precise. We could go with that. Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's go, let's start with that. Little damage. Um, we could definitely kill this guy here. Ah, that was not what I expected. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, but still solvable. It will take a lot of cooldowns though to solve it. So, let's Reaper. And it's time for some melee action. This is a risky move. But I think that I know what I'm doing. If Advent were any good, they wouldn't need me. Okay, aggressive move would be moving forward, killing him which I don't think is the right uh, decision. Instead... We're going to continue here. I think we're reloading and uh, calling it uh, even for now. You were born for this. Now get out there and fight. I don't know if that triggered the untouchable, probably not. Definitely need to get uh, the elite specter down. Nice little hit with blade storm. Good job. All right, that was the untouchable. You know how tracking shot works. You know it unfortunately all too well. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. Okay, so this here is probably a good call. There now. That first of all takes care of the Andromedon shell. Death from above resets. I'm going for the Sectoid. Again, death from above resets. This here should set up both of them. In fact, we can just hit them, which I think would be hilarious. Just need to reload, that way we are saving some ammunition. Nice little 15 points of damage, by the way. Unbelievable.
Okay, wow, well, that's going to be a bit tough. Let's see. So this, 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 this. Okay, so it would work. We're looking at 100%. We can't miss the Spectre. That's important. The reason why I'm saying this is just want to make sure we get emplaceable afterwards. We need to get out of the tracking shot. brought a sword to a gunfight my friend and it's going to slice you up good worked out like a charm I got it, right? not sure how he had such a long range with his blade storm but I'm not going to complain We are looking at 11 rounds. I guess that'll be okay. Moving on target location. All right, reload. Our VIP follows us. Like I said, we're still having 11 rounds. That's where we need to go. We killed two, four, and three. That's seven, and it was 13, so two packs of three. Plus the chosen one, of course. Seriously? Nothing? I've triggered nothing? On my way. Nope, can't grapple over there. But fair enough. Orders confirmed on the move. Okay. If they let us sneak out of here, I won't complain. Yeah, shotgun is not the best Overwatch weapon. Alright, three of them. Okay, who has been marked? To go. Good. It was Renman again, which means Zirkim here can uh, start taking away cover. Take a solid grapple. Grapple out. OK. 
Okay, so that would work. Just making sure we have uh, uh, all of them here under control. Frostbite, so that we're not getting... Okay, never mind. Good. Zirkin is untouchable. That's important. Let's see. The only problem that I do have with like literally moving in here is I don't know if we are going to kill the priest. So we might end up in the open and that's I don't like that. On the other hand, he's going to use his shield anyways, so might as well. First things first. Moving over, hopefully pulling zero other packs. Good, that worked like a charm. We're using run and gun, although it seems maybe a bit extravagant to use it for just two fields. I want to stand next to him. As much as I love being two steps ahead of everyone, Commander. I was almost hoping we wouldn't be having this little chat today. Your people have managed to keep things interesting. There's another soldier up here. That's the Elder Commander. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Right, so I knew that that might... Uh, might be uh, might have uh, been the case so the reason why I wanted to stay right next to him is although we're not having uh, the untouchable yet we still get the uh, blade storm Little untouchable. This won't end well for you. Trust me, I've seen it. We're going to see about that, big boy. It's first and foremost eliminate the remaining forces. Starting with an Advent Shield Barrel. Check it before you get too close. Got him placeable. I suppose that's why the elders want you back on the tactical side, Commander. And next turn we can end it. We have nine more rounds. Might as well also fight against the chosen one. As long as we keep it up here, we should be fine. Zirkim is overwatching. Of course, we're triggering the last pick. Don't go for the VIP. That would be just a, a fucked up move. Seriously? Got 
a soldier down. Get to him before the Chosen do. I guess that'll be okay. Easy now, soldier. All right. I suppose you owe them the attempt at a rescue. <laughs> okay, we can't get out. I love it. That's a little critical here. So down here we do have a captain. Chosen one is a problem. But we could theoretically like go in and next round just go out with um, with Roby that should be a problem F for armor however will not fare super well we could go to here though and kill the captain that should not be a problem Okay, let's first move. Hmm, so that should be fine. If we crit, we're anyways really well off. If not, we still should be fine. He's burning. And we get a blade storm, so that should work out. This here is a problem. We can't let her stand in the open, so might as well put her into cover. There we go. So we try this time? now the blade storm. There we go. That worked out well. Still have untouchable. Elven priest. Yeah, I figured that. Don't want to fight the Advent Priests. Because they do have stasis and stasis is a problem. And there is the bleeding. I love it. So risk versus reward, it is definitely not worth fighting for 5 ability points and having the risk of maybe getting killed here. That worked quite well. Let's see back. We only t uh, took moderate damage. The only thing that we haven't accomplished is getting rid of the uh, chosen one, but that's fine. We'll we'll get back to him. 
The reason why I was careful is uh, the priests, although, I mean, we probably would have won uh, the encounter, but the priests uh, effectively can cast um, stasis on you, and that makes it just all so much harder. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Good, another successful mission. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. Oh, nice. Renman got 200 kills. Congratulations, buddy. Good job. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high. And we got ourselves a hundred intel, which is just what we would need in order to further expand. Brilliant. The game knows precisely what we are looking for. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Got ourselves a plasma blaster. So we already have a skull jack, so it's fine. Got enough cores though. Let's go for one more war suit. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And since we need more since we need more uh, contacts, we are, will upgrade our resistance communications. Resistance there we go. Communications facility upgraded. Got five more contacts out of that. Yeah, are we going to build another resistance communication? I mean, why not? We do have the money and we might end up taking the entire world. Plus, we don't have anything else to build or to spend the money on at the, mo uh, at the moment. Five more regions, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's 16 overall. Signals coming through clear. Cool. That worked like a charm. 80 Intel. Great. Is after something in this area. We got greater resolve. Lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. That is going to help us a lot. Because uh, finally uh, we can send uh, lightly injured uh, high-ranking soldiers into battle. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, uh, the Bursa Queen is right here. Which uh, means if Edgar, Alien Poe and uh, Dragonova are ready, it is time. Uh, let's just wait the one more day. There's nothing wrong with doing so. So one more day uh, when Outrider is back. We're going to infiltrate the facility. Making contact here by the way would be 160 in there, which is just a bit too much. Plotting new I don't really need to build faster. But Dragonova now just recovered from her wounds, which means we can start invading this year. 
We are going to assault the facility. For sector four, Chile. That's going to happen in the next session. Let's see what we would be up against. So Andromedon, Elite Shield Bearer, Elite Lancer, a Gatekeeper and a Heavy Mech. So definitely a couple of enemies that are mechanical, but the rest pretty much isn't. Plus, of course, the Berserk Queen that we need to deal with. That's going to happen in the next mission. Time to go for the last alien ruler. And uh, that would pretty much also conclude our alien rulers uh, then. Uh, we have most of them at the wall here, as you can already see there and there. Because the queen is still missing. Um, yeah, and we haven't researched the weapons that are not really helpful. So that's working out well. One, ch uh, one chosen is already down. Time for two more. Yep, it looks good. Thank you so much for watching today, guys, um, and see you in the next episode. If you liked it, give it, a, uh, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. As always, your support is appreciated. See you in the next mission. Bye-bye.